You know, guys, when you have a complex animation and you want to reverse this animation, you might not want to use the layer like we have seen, but you will want to use some time remapping. Time remapping, we are going to get to know it today to reverse animation, but also it's extremely powerful to do many other things and it works very nicely with videos. In this lecture, we will create this animation and if you have time, we will try to reverse it. Otherwise, we will reverse it in the next lecture. Let's start. We start by creating a new composition and we will call it 03 title uh, remap. It will do. Okay, or you can say time remap so you get to know which one is it later on. And we'll use 10 seconds or the usual parameters. Okay, we click on. In the images here, I put an image for you. These images come from pixabay.com and it's free. You can use them. You can also download them or take them from here. I will click on the image, drag it inside the timeline and it will become a, somehow a background. This image is sharp, is very nice, but this is not what we want. We don't want to give a themed background here. We want to blur it out. I will come to effects and presets and look for blur. Here, my best blur was fast blur, but now it became obsolete. I will use the Gaussian blur. That's what Adobe is recommending. And then hike the blur a lot. Here you are. You notice what happened. Now you'll notice the borders here. They are still dark. To remove this darkness on the border and to make it somehow continuous, you just take a repeat edge pixel. And now it's okay. You have your background. You can hack it as much as you want. The blurriness. And it gives you a certain effect where there is a background, but we don't really know what's the background. Cool. Let's lock our background, go back to our project here. And we want to create our shape layer. We come to rectangle, rounded rectangle, and I'll draw a rectangle just over here. It has a stroke of 12 and no fill. I'll put the anchor point in the middle just for convenience. Now I want to animate this rectangle and I want to use the trim path, but we are not gonna use the trim path just simply to turn it around. We're gonna give it a small style. I'll come to content, go to add and add a trim path. Let's take this one up and we open the trim path. If you use the end, you notice that the trim path, let's remove the handlers here, you can see it better. You notice it's coming from this corner. So if it starts here, and it's coming from this corner. I really don't want it in this corner. I want it over here. So what I will do, I will fiddle around with the offset. Take the offset and put it at this value. Now the trim path will start from this top delimiter here. I will keyframe the end and the offset. Come after a few frames and move the end. Just make it, you know, a bit bigger. Cool. Now I will keyframe again the offset and I want to animate the offset. Coming over here, few frames, I will just move the offset until it reaches the other end or it reaches the bottom end here. Then I will keyframe the end and I don't want it to move. I'll come back and move the end. Now let's look at our animation. It has become a bit more special if you want. Let's put the work area end at uh, three seconds and we run our animation and here you are, it's very beautiful. Let us now animate the position. Come to shape layer, I will animate the whole shape layer. Come to position and let's say here, we just keyframe it and use the selection tool and we take it up over here, that's fine. Then after a few frames, it will uh, come down to the middle. What I can do is just come to the align over here and align it in the middle of the comp. So we have a double animation here. You notice what's happening? Pretty cool. Now we can move it a bit. For example, make it uh, longer over here and it's working together. Now arrived here, we want uh, this uh, rectangle to become smaller. If I use the scale, it will also scale the stroke. You know already that. So I'm going to use the dimensions inside the rectangle. I will use the size, of course. I will keyframe the size, remove the link and move a bit in the time and make it smaller. Okay, here you are. That's fine. Let's look at our complete animation. Fine, beautiful. Okay, in the next lecture, we are going to put the text, animate the text, and time reverse it. I want you to use this style for the trim path. You know, be a bit creative. It's very nice to give you some beautiful things. I'll see you in the next lecture.